Hey guys, uh, I thought I would add some prayer to our videos as well. So let's pray right now. Uh, Father God, I just pray that as you uh, speak to us through your word, that you'd help us to know you more and to be encouraged and to um, be equipped better to uh, do whatever it is that you call us to do. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, let's read the Bible. Today's verses are from Genesis 1, Jeremiah 5, and Psalm 104. It says, Then God said, Let the water under the sky be gathered into one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. God called the dry land earth, and the gathering of the water he called seas. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let the earth produce vegetation, seed-bearing plants and fruit trees, on the earth bearing fruit with seed in it according to their kinds. And it was so. The earth produced vegetation, seed-bearing plants according to their kinds, and trees bearing fruit with seed in it according to their kinds. And God saw that it was good. Evening came and then morning, the third day. Do you not fear me? This is the Lord's declaration. Do you not tremble before me? The one who set the sand as the boundary of the sea, an enduring barrier that it cannot cross. The waves surge, but they cannot prevail. They roar, but cannot pass over it. He causes grass to grow for the livestock and provides crops for man to cultivate, producing food from the earth, wine that makes human hearts glad, making his face shine with oil, and bread that sustains human hearts. Some people say that they feel most connected to God when they're in nature, and I totally get it. Um, God made nature. He literally formed all of the grass and all of the trees. And uh, even like in, when we're in a house, uh, even though we built that with our hands, all that stuff comes from nature too. <laughs> so we should definitely give thanks no matter where we are, whether we're in a house or when we're out in nature. Um, and we should give thanks for what God has given us. That includes everything we have. Everything we have is a gift from God. Even if we think that we sustain ourselves through our hard work, it's, it's just not true. What we typically work for are things that God has already provided for us. The most obvious example for us is food. Yeah, we need to work for money in order to buy food, but where's the food come from? It comes from the ground. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, we have to cultivate the ground so that it grows these things, but ultimately, um, we didn't create any of this. God is the one who makes things grow. And God's the one who created all things so that things can grow. <laughs> so really it comes down to this. We can have a heart that doesn't thank God, that thinks that, we, thinks that we're self-made men, and, and thinks that we sustain ourselves by ourselves. Or we can recognize the truth that God made all things, and all things ultimately come from him. <laughs> that includes wine that makes glad hearts. <laughs> Depending on your faith tradition, uh, some people can benefit from that, and some people can't. <laughs> but the point is just this. Uh, every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father. So if you get something good, thank God for it. All right, have a great day. God bless you guys.